So far we've explained what makes oxygen training work and identified the specific factors that limit oxygen training systems. These are simply the richness of oxygen as limited by the breathing system and the heart rate from exercise. The best results come from the most oxygen from the breathing system and the highest heart rate that's safe for the user. Systems that limit either the oxygen or the exercise will limit results. There are three different types of oxygen systems. Hyperbaric chambers, exercise with oxygen training or EWAT with a cannula or mask, and oxygen turbo trainers. Oxygen training is different from oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy uses oxygen while the person's resting to compensate for an oxygen deficiency. It's defined as a medical procedure because the extra oxygen can reduce respiration. Oxygen training is enhanced exercise where age or stress related loss is offset by extra oxygen during exercise, preferably to levels typical in youth. A hyperbaric chamber is an air pressure capsule that is technically a therapy system because small size prevents exercise. A user rests in a small enclosure with 1.6 to 2 times normal air pressure, which pushes proportionally extra oxygen into the body. These levels are well documented to help tissue regeneration and immunity, but they're less than half of the documented concentrations needed for vascular anti-inflammatory effects. And this is why oxygen training is always preferable to hyperbaric for able-bodied individuals as it achieves more result in less time with much less expensive equipment. Absent the exercise, extra oxygen by itself doesn't drive past the lungs because it takes heartbeat and turbulence to move the extra oxygen from the lungs to the tissue. So when we look at different oxygen training systems, their performance reflects how well they drive oxygen through obstacles to tissues. There are only two mechanical factors that govern this performance. First is the concentration of oxygen in the lungs during exercise, and second is the heart rate driven by the exercise. Limitations of either limit performance. EWOD, or Exercise with Oxygen Training, is an oxygen training technique developed by German rocket scientist Manfred von Arden. Arden discovered that even small amounts of extra oxygen, like 5 or 10 liters per minute, are sufficient to reach the anti-inflammatory levels for the exercise challenge individuals after about 36 hours of use. EWAT has since become popular because the equipment is affordable and available. EWAT systems use either a mask or cannula attached to an oxygen generator as a user exercises, usually with a 10 liter per minute oxygen source. Cannulas deliver oxygen during inhale, and since the oxygen blows off during exhale, cannulas only deliver half a generator's oxygen to a user. Masks cover the nose and mouth and deliver all the generator's oxygen to user, but usually restrict airflow because the underflow ports are undersized for an exercising user. So each of these breathers limits a critical element of oxygen training. Both masks and cannulas limit the oxygen and masks limit airflow. These limits mean that while EWAT works well for exercise challenged, stronger users usually outbreathe EWAT systems and achieve relatively small fraction of the benefit they would achieve with maximum oxygen and maximum intensity. Arden documented anti-inflammatory results with EWAT in 36 hours of use. Oxygen turbo trainers are the next generation of oxygen training systems. They deliver all the oxygen an exercising user can breathe by pre-filling a reservoir from a standard oxygen supply. This rich oxygen combined with vigorous exercise normally reaches the anti-inflammatory threshold within three minutes for most users above a pulse of 110 beats per minute. And this makes oxygen trainers over 100 times faster than EWAT. Now if you're skeptical these results are easy to verify with pharmaceutical neurological tests that almost always show 
clinically significant improvement in mental function within an hour of a user's first turbo trainer session. And these results seem to last indefinitely. Now, high volume oxygen trainers or turbo trainers are not only work faster, but they're more cost effective than EWAT. So, comparing turbo trainers to EWAT, turbo trainers deliver around 10 times more oxygen per minute per dollar. They'll yield anti inflammatory results up to 100 times faster in 3 to 15 minutes versus 36 hours. They'll increase body water oxygen levels much more than any other oxygen delivery systems to support immunity and tissue regeneration. And so for most users, the faster and better results and time saved are worth the small extra investment in turbo trainers like Live or Extreme O2.